What's up, fam? As you can see, the part that was in my head about four vlogs ago is definitely gone by now. So you already know the deal. It's about that time for another haircut from the homie Tommy up in Faded Society. And then after that, we're gonna pick up our paycheck. And then it's about that time for another comic pull. About to hit up nostalgic books and comics, pick up my new comics. I've actually been very busy, so I haven't had time to read the ones that I picked up last time, but just means I can binge read them, you know? And then after that, I'm gonna hit up the 2017 Filipino Welcome Reception. It's an annual event at UCLA where all the Filipino student organizations gather and then they all got tables and booths and free food and they just introduce the new students to all the various Filipino orgs on campus so that these new first years and transfers can potentially find a home for their interests, whether it be the Mother Oryx Samahong Filipino or the Filipino Transfer Student Partnership, Filipinos for Community Health, all of those orgs. But I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna vlog the welcome reception, but I know for sure today's gonna be haircut, paycheck, comics. And so, without further ado, let's get it. fam so the best part about getting cut by Tommy is that he always hooks you up with the free gel afterwards but as you can see got that fresh fade got that part going all the way into my eyebrow I don't know if you can see it oh, definitely you can see it but here it is fam Tommy is endorsed by the Fung brothers as a matter of fact Tommy was cutting Andrew Fung before Andrew Sam came in to get his cut so you already know that Tommy's an excellent barber and I cannot recommend him enough if you ever in the area, just hit up Faith Society, hit up Tommy. He's one of the best there is at what he does. But the next time you see me, I'm gonna be picking up the paycheck. So until then, see you later. Hi, right, fam, I actually lied a little bit. We're gonna pick up the comics first and then we're gonna go get our paycheck. So without further ado, let's get it. check out what we got this week before we pick up our paycheck uh, not as many comics this time around you know because I don't have to buy weapon X because it's not crossing over with totally awesome Hulk anymore and that generations one-time event I got to pick those up so we got less comics this time around hopefully save more time but we're gonna start things off with the I think this is the conclusion to the Justice League Power Rangers crossover event big parts of my childhood leading into my adulthood. Now, the latest J Justice League of America issue, there's two more of those in here. Got that Wild Storm, totally awesome Korean American Hulk. Like I said, another Justice League of America issue. Got that new Superman, Chinese Superman, back at it again. And it appears that Harley Quinn's on this. Uh, I don't know if she's actually in this or if this is just a variant cover where she's just on the cover only, special artwork by whoever the variant artist is, but that's what that is. Got that Iron Fist. Looks like Shang-Chi's still in it, so that's gonna be exciting to read about. That Young Champions team. And the 13th issue of Justice League of America. Here's Ryan Choi, the Cantonese Adam. What I really like about this comic is that the Asian man, Ryan Choi, isn't emasculated. As a matter of fact, they're building up a romance between him and Killer Frost over here, so. Uh, really excited to catch up to this. So as I promised, that comic rundown was quicker than last time. So now let's go ahead and pick up our paycheck. All right, fam, you already know what it is. Just picked up the paycheck, gonna cash it in, and then I'm gonna head out to the Filipino welcome reception at UCLA. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog any of it or not, so if I don't, then this is gonna be the part where I remind you all to stay strong. 